Around 70 million Americans are facing severe weather from Storm Finn. The most intense winter storm of the season has started to sweep across the Midwest. And with it, freezing temperatures, blizzards, floodings and tornadoes, the National Weather Service says Finn could bring record-breaking Arctic conditions. And snow has started falling in parts of the UK as the country braces for a week-long cold spell. BBC Weather says southeast England will see a mix of snow, sleet and rain during the rest of Monday. The Met Office has warned of ice and snow across southern England and Wales later, which could cause travel disruption. Uh, we've been bracing ourselves, haven't we, for some a cold snap uh, in the next few days. And here's a reminder for you this morning of just how dangerous that icy weather can be. Yeah, absolutely. Look at this. The moment a double-decker bus, whoa, lost control after it hit freezing rain, crashing into Gosh. those parked cars. You can just... There we go. Uh, before skinning into a garden wall and then, of course, coming to a stop. Now, it had been on its way to a primary school in Kakodi. Luckily, no passengers were on board and no one was injured. That's very, very lucky. Do take care out there. It is icy in some places. Homes and businesses have been flooded amid rising water levels in the River Thames. The river has overflowed at Runnymede in Surrey, forcing some people to evacuate their properties. Almost the entire Surrey stretch of the river is still at risk of bursting its banks, according to the Environment Agency map. Across our region, which includes Berkshire, where these images are from, there are still dozens of flood warnings. That's the second highest level of alert. Uh, we saw that. The insurance firm Admiral says pothole-related claims soared last year. Customers made 40% more claims to the insurer for pothole damage in 2023 at an average cost of £3,070 each. Higher-tech vehicles and a general rise in the price of repairs is thought to be behind that spike. A dramatic video of the bus in Kokodi out of control slipping through the ice. There are some amazing pictures in the papers this morning of of snow in various parts of southern England. This was the view over the village of Lenham in Kent. It's a Christmas card. Isn't it? Um, well, this man wearing shorts, maybe hadn't checked the BBC weather app before he <laughs> headed out into this winter wonderland. Isn't it lovely? You are brave, sir. What's <laughs> under that coat? And uh, he's fully dressed, isn't he? There's even light snow in central London. Member of the household cavalry on duty outside Buckingham Palace as the flakes swirled around him. Really lovely pictures there. Hello. The week has got off to a cold start. Some of us even got to see some snow on Monday. Tuesday will be another cold day, but it should be largely dry with a bit more in the way of sunshine. We'll have some slightly less cold air feeding in around our area of high pressure, the high slightly changing shape. So that's what we'll be bringing some slightly less cold air, but also more in the way of clouds. So Thursday and Friday generally quite cloudy but not quite as cold. Temperatures getting up to around 7 or 8 degrees around the seasonal average. However, as we go through the weekend, it looks like this cold front will slip its way southwards and that will reintroduce some cold air from the north. As that cold air floods its way southwards, well, it will bring the chance of snow showers as we head through next week. Good morning to you both. Yes, morning to you at home too. We've still got some ice around this morning. We had quite a few wintry showers yesterday, so in places still a little bit of lying snow as well. And the ground obviously has been very wet recently. So where those temperatures overnight fall below freezing, any untreated surfaces are pretty slippery out there. But today, well, things, yes, looking very cold again, but mostly dry. So we're losing most of the wintry showers, not all of them. But it looks like the slightly milder weather continues for Thursday and Friday too. Still quite cloudy, a bit of mist and fog around. But after a slightly milder few days, do be prepared. Things are going to get colder again into the weekend. Hello, good morning. It's a chilly start to the day and there is quite a lot of cloud around to start as well. For the rest of the week, too, high pressure remains in charge, but the winds will tend to ease and we draw in some less cold air for a few days. So for Thursday, some sunshine around, some cloud, more in the way of cloud around for Friday, but temperatures up a few degrees. And then by the end of the weekend and next week, turning colder once again. Good morning, bit frosty. Yeah, it certainly is. Morning to you, John and Sarah. Morning to you at home, too. Yeah, we had plenty of wintry showers around yesterday. Today, fewer of those wintry showers, so a largely dry story. But, yeah, it's cold again out there. We've got a widespread frost. And do watch out for some icy stretches 
on any untreated roads and surfaces because it's been really wet recently and those temperatures have fallen below freezing in places. So the temperatures out there at the moment for many of us around about freezing a degree or so either side but across the Scottish Highlands Aviemore is at minus 10 first thing this morning so it is a really cold start to the day. Good morning to you both. It's looking pretty chilly out there first thing this morning. Yesterday we had plenty of wintry showers. Today some really icy stretches around first thing this morning but it is a beautiful sunrise. Gorgeous colours here in the sky. This is Cliffs End in Kent. It is icy in some places this morning. Sarah can tell us where we need to be most careful. Morning, Sarah. Morning. Yeah, good morning to you, John and Sarah. It certainly is icy out there. And for some of us, it's snowy as well. Let me take you to the Channel Islands this morning. This is the scene first thing in St Clement in Jersey. So we've still got some snow showers falling across parts of the Channel Islands, southwest of England as well, seeing scenes a little bit like this. So some fairly tricky conditions underfoot and on some of the roads this morning. You've either got sun lying snow or temperatures have fallen below freezing and we've had a very, very wet ground obviously recently. So some icy stretches, cold day ahead for all of us, but most of us are going to be staying dry and there'll be some wintry sunshine coming through. Now there've been some beautiful winter wonderland pictures that we've seen this morning. Obviously not now, but uh, earlier there were. Uh, Sarah Keith, because what is in store for the rest of the country? Well, Sarah, it's looking cold out there through the course of today, but I just wanted to take you to the view in North Wales at the moment. Look at these really spectacular clouds that we've got. They look a little bit like UFOs, don't they? But they're actually lenticular clouds that have been spotted this morning by our weather watchers. So they're fairly rare in the UK, but we do sometimes see them. They form downwind of any hills or mountains when we have quite stable air with high pressure just like we've got at the moment so do send us your pictures if you've spotted any lenticular clouds out there this morning now for most of us it's a fairly quiet weather picture today it's looking dry thankfully and cold certainly cold we've got some icy stretches out there this morning widespread frost <laughs> morning to you john and sarah well it's looking cold out there again today but for many of us thankfully it's dry as well Beautiful start to the day for many of us. Lovely colours in the sunrise this morning. Still some icy stretches though on any untreated surfaces.